Have you ever wondered about the deep connections that exist between philosophers? Friedrich Nietzsche, the enigmatic figure whose ideas continue to shape our understanding of morality and existence, had a profound and unbreakable bond with his dear friend Franz Overbeck. This unlikely friendship gave birth to some of the most thought-provoking philosophical debates and personal anecdotes that shed light on Nietzsche's profound ideas. Nietzsche and Overbeck's relationship was a meeting of brilliant minds, but it was also a testament to the power of friendship in shaping one's philosophical journey. Overbeck, a theologian, and Nietzsche, a philosopher, found common ground in their shared pursuit of truth and the exploration of life's most profound questions. One fascinating aspect of their friendship was their contrasting viewpoints on religion. Nietzsche famously declared that God is dead, challenging the traditional religious beliefs that dominated Western society. But it was Overbeck, who held steadfast to his religious convictions, that Nietzsche turned to during his darkest moments. Imagine the philosophical debates that must have ensued between these two intellectual giants as they grappled with the existence of God and the meaning of life. Their contrasting viewpoints extended beyond religion to their understanding of morality. Nietzsche's philosophy rejected traditional moral concepts, advocating for a more individualistic and subjective approach to ethics. Overbeck, on the other hand, clung to the moral norms of society. Their conversations on morality must have been nothing short of electrifying, as they passionately debated the nature of good and evil, and the role of societal norms in shaping our moral compass. But beyond their philosophical discussions, Nietzsche and Overbeck shared intimate moments that reveal the humanity behind the ideas. In one unforgettable scene, Nietzsche, plagued by illness and isolation, found solace in the company of his dear friend. Overbeck would often visit Nietzsche, bringing him books, engaging in discussions, and providing the much-needed emotional support that Nietzsche craved. In these moments, Nietzsche's vulnerability shines through, reminding us that behind the brilliance of his ideas, he was a complex and deeply human individual. His friendship with Overbeck, filled with intellectual stimulation and emotional connection, served as a lifeline during Nietzsche's most challenging times. The bond between Nietzsche and Overbeck was truly extraordinary, defying the boundaries of conventional friendship. Their shared intellectual journey and personal connection shaped Nietzsche's philosophical development, giving birth to groundbreaking ideas that continue to challenge our understanding of existence. As we delve into Nietzsche's writings and ideas, let us not forget the profound role that friendship played in his life. The relationship between Nietzsche and Overbeck serves as a reminder that even the greatest thinkers need companionship, support, and intellectual sparring partners to fully explore the depths of their ideas. So, the next time you contemplate Nietzsche's philosophy, remember the untold story of his unbreakable bond with Franz Overbeck, a friendship that transcended philosophical differences and brought both solace and inspiration to one of history's most influential thinkers.